Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRC's exam. First of all, let's see the question. Here, this is the question. Which of the following statement relating to the sternocleidomastoid is true? We know that the sternocleidomastoid, it is a muscle. So, we have to know all details regarding the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Then, we have to find out the following option, which is not true regarding the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Here are the options. Options are external jugular vein lies posterior medially. It is supplied by accessory nerve. It has two heads of origin. It inserts into the lateral aspect of the mastoid process. It marks the anterior border of the posterior triangle. So, let's see the sternocleidomastoid muscle. So, here this is the sternocleidomastoid muscle. This sternocleidomastoid muscle, it originated in from the two places here. One is the manubrium study, another one is the clavicular part. So, the uh, this is the external head and this is the clavicular head. So, the sternocleidomastoid muscle, it originated from the two head, then it goes upwards and finally it inserted into the lateral aspect of the mastoid process so the sternocleidomastoid mastoid muscle it originated from the manubrium sterni and from the clavicle and it has two head external head and clavicular head and it go ascends and finally it inserted into the mastoid process actually it is the lateral aspect of the mastoid process in this picture we can see this muscle this is the sternocleidomastoid muscle a nerve is going below the spine uh, sternocleidomastoid muscle this nerve is the spinal accessory nerve which is the cranial nerve number 11 and the sternocleidomastoid muscle and the posterior another muscle which is the trapezius these two muscles are supplied by this spinal accessory nerve so the sternocleidomastoid muscle it gets supply from the accessory spinal accessory nerve then we can see this is relatively a triangular area and this triangle is known as the posterior triangle and anterior triangle is here so this is the anterior triangle of the neck here this is a triangle and here this is the posterior triangle of the neck and in, we can see the posterior triangle anterior border of the posterior triangle it is formed by this sternocleidomastoid muscle so sternocleidomastoid muscle it forms the anterior border the anterior border of the posterior triangle then here we can see these this is the sternocleidomastoid muscle and we can see a vein which is the external jugular vein this external jugular vein it passes the sternocleidomastoid Cleidomastoid muscle, external jugular vein, it passes the external cleidomastoid muscle. It is the lateral side. Here we can see this is the external cleidomastoid muscle. This side is the medial side and this side is the lateral side. And external jugular vein, it lies the lateral side of the external cleidomastoid muscle. So our answer is now ready that the external jugular vein, it lies posterior medial. It is not true because the external jugular vein here, you can see this is the external jugular vein and this external jugular vein it lies laterally to the sternocleidomastoid muscle so for this that the external jugular vein it located laterally not medially it is supplied by accessory nerve it is true it has two heads of the origin it is also true it has external head and clavicular head it inserts into the lateral aspect of the mastoid process it is also true it makes the anterior border of the posterior triangle it is also true so only false option here that the external jugular vein lies posterior medial it is not true because the external jugular vein it lies laterally thank you all